In this video, we're going to take a look at the three ways that we can safely power down a Synology NAS. However, before we start, it's important that you check to make sure no users are still connected to your NAS. A simple way to do this is by using the connected user widget that can be found in DisStation Manager. The first method for powering down a Synology NAS is probably the one that you're most familiar with. If we're logged into the station manager using our administrator's credentials, if we select the profile icon in the system tray, a drop down menu will appear. From this menu, if we choose shutdown, our NAS will begin to cycle through the process of powering itself down. An alternative method is to use the power button on the front of your NAS. By pressing and holding down the power button until it beeps, we will instruct our NAS to power itself down. It's worth noting that it can take a long time for a NAS to power itself down. So always make sure that its status light has gone out before you remove the power to your NAS. The final method for powering down a Synology NAS is via the DS Finder app. With either our smartphone or tablet connected wirelessly to our home network, if we install and run the DS Finder app, as this is the first time we're using the app, we are asked if we wish to set up a new NAS or manage an existing one. If we select Manage Existing NAS, DS Finder will search for any Synology devices on our home network. By selecting our NAS from the list, we are presented with more information about our NAS and a Continue button. After selecting Continue, we need to enter our administrator's credentials. When we select Login, we are presented with some of the settings to our NAS. If we select the power icon, a list of options are presented which include Shutdown. Let's power down our NAS. Finally, it's worth noting that you can use the DS Finder app to remotely power down your NAS. However, this will only work if you have configured your NAS to be accessible from the internet.